Well, let's say you went to your SD card and uh -oh, all of your photos are gone. So, how do you recover your photos? Well, I'll show you how. All right. So, temporarily, we have to leave this SD card. We want to bring up uh, a web browser, and then you want to search on Recuva. So that's R E C U V A. Uh, Recuva is a uh, retrieval uh, application that will what we're going to use to be able to recover the files. So the first website is called Piriform. That's the company that makes Recover. And now we simply download it. Now if you are an individual and if you do not need any support, you can download and use this for free. And so as long as you're not a company, uh, you know, you don't have to pay for it. So go ahead and download this and um, install it and then uh, come back. So I'm going to pause right now for just a second and then we'll come back. Okay, now um, I'm going to open up uh, Recover. And of course, this is a disclaimer from Windows. Now, here's the wizard. Now you can elect to use this wizard or not. Uh, for now, we'll go ahead and say it's okay. And you want to um, recover pictures. And then we want to uh, do that on a media card. And enable deep scan. Um, I usually check this. It takes a little more, but you can try without it first. And if it doesn't find all your files, then come back and start it again and do that. So I'm going to hit start. And okay, it didn't go to any drives. So we're going to open that up. And the reason why is i got to plug my uh, card back in. There we go. So, we'll hit scan. No files were found. So, uh, we're going to do a deep scan and see what happens. So, since this is going to take a while, I'm going to pause this again. Okay, just some progress here. It's uh, scanning is going along pretty well. I'm at 74% completed, and it's found so far 863 files. So uh, we'll let it just finish up here. Okay, it's finished. Um, now it's got a list of everything uh, that it found. Let me kind of open this up here a little bit more. And then as you go through here, then it's going to show you a preview of all the files. So I'm going to select file name here which will select all the files and then I'm going to select recover and then it wants to know where I want to cover it. So I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this uh, do it again uh, we're going to call it, let's say, New Files from Recover. All right. Okay, and then OK. Now it's basically going to take all these files that I selected, which I selected all of them, and now it's dumping them to my hard drive. So we're going to pause here again and be back when it's done. Okay, now our recover is completed, and it said that it's uh, totally recovered 746 files. So we're going to say OK to that. Now we're going to bring the computer up, and again we're going to go to the Canon or, or to the SD card, and you'll see that the folder still shows empty. This is the card that we recovered the files from. However, if we bring up the folder, the new files from recover. There we go. Now we got 700 and some files on here of all the photos that we recovered. So now what I'm going to do is place the files back onto the camera, which is an optional step, but you can do it. And the way that uh, 
that you do that is uh, I'm going to uh, eject this card, which is how you should always remove a card. And it's because I've still got uh, Recover open, so I'm going to go in here to Recover, and we can actually close this off. All right. So now it allows me to remove the hardware. Now, if I would not have done that, if I would not have selected Remove Hardware, then I could have corrupted the file again because there was an application holding that uh, program open. So now I'm going to pull the SD card out, and this is a Canon camera. I'm going to put, and I, I, you're looking at the screen rather than the camera, of course, so I'm just going to narrate what I'm doing. Um, open the camera up, go to menu, and then I'm going to go to format, yes, format memory card, yes. And then say OK. OK, the card has been formatted. So I'm going to open the card again by putting the card back into the computer. And there we go. When we open it, we still see the folder is empty, which is still OK. But now it's been formatted. Now I'm going to remove it again and show you what you have to do. Of course, eject it. Okay, what you need to do is you need to take one photo and when you take the first photo, what it's going to do is it's going to create the directories that it needs to be creating. So I've taken the photo and now I'm going to bring the card back in. Now you see the camera created a folder called DCIM. It stands for uh, Digital Camera Images. And you click on that and this is the default directory that the Canon camera gave me. So now that's the image that I took. And now what I can do is I can go into uh, my other files that I recovered. From the, uh, from the desktop, and you remember we use a uh, file folder called, if I can find it here, recover, and then new files from recover, and I'm just going to do a couple of them, so I'm just going to Hold the shift key down and do these first five. Right click, copy, and then I'm going to do a right click paste. And there we go. Now, the other thing we have to do is we have to rename these uh, files because the camera, some cameras do not like different file names. So I'm going to go to rename and I'm going to call it IMG which is kind of what it already started with and I'm going to say 0451 okay and then you can go on and on and on with the next one. Now this is kind of an evolved process but if you wanted to view your files back on your camera this is what you got to do. Now one caveat here you can only recover or I'm sorry you can only Put the files back on the SD card for that camera that you want to view, or that camera that they originally came off. If if I put these files into an SD card that I was going to use with, say, a Nikon camera, number one, it would not find them. But if I created a file for the Nikon, like I did here with the Canon, and put these files in that file so that the Nikon camera could reach them, I could corrupt the card again. So, in other words, another reason for card corruption is trying to read uh, photos from one type camera, brand, or model to another. 
and that's one of the main reasons we have corruption because people try to use these cameras as uh, photo viewers and they just don't work. So to kind of recap here, the way you can minimize corruption is make sure you never view a file that's not created by that camera. Always make sure that the file name structure as this one here where I change it to image underbar 0451, make sure that that's consistent and uh, also uh, always make sure that you uh, use the eject function like I showed you here uh, before removing your uh, SD card. If you practice those things then you probably will never have any file corruption issues. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to recover your files and thanks for watching.